So in this video, I'm going to explain what epistasis is. And so essentially, when we talk about epistasis, we're talking about gene interactions. This, of course, means that epistasis has to occur when there are more than one gene. So it's two or more genes contribute to the same phenotype. And it's often described as when one gene masks or modifies the phenotype of a second gene. And so what do I mean by that? Well, let's give an example. Let's say you have these mice right here. They have two different genes that contribute to their coat color. And so you have B and C. They're both heterozygous for genes B and C that contribute to their coat color. And so as you can see, these mice are gray. And so typically, for a normal dihybrid cross, you would expect a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio. But as you can see down here, it's clearly not in a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 phenotype ratio. You have 9 gray mice, 3 brown mice, and then 4 white mice. So it's a 9 to 3 to 4 ratio. And then therefore, it can be seen that there are two genes that both contribute to the coat color, which is the trait that we're talking about right now. And so let me explain why this happens. So let's say B is a gene for coat color. So let's say when you have a capital B, you get a gray coat. And then if you have two lowercase b's, so homozygous recessive, you're going to get a brown coat. And then let's say that C represents the ability to develop pigmentation in the coat. So you need a capital C somewhere in there to even produce a color. So if you have a homozygous recessive um, gene in C, so if you have two lowercase c's, you're going to get a white mice because you can't even produce a coat color. So it doesn't matter what gene the mice would have had or what color the mice should have been. If it doesn't produce the color at all, you don't get anything. So you get white. So this is a little different than what we were talking about before because essentially you need two things or two genes to contribute to one phenotype. And so pretty much if you took nothing out of this video, the big thing to remember is that if you don't see a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio in a dye hybrid cross, so here we have a 9 to 3 to 4 ratio, you should really consider epistasis as the cause of this different ratio. And so one last thing to mention, there are a bunch of different types of ratios and you have the 9 to 3 to 4 ratio. Another common one is a 9 to 7 ratio. And then we're going to talk more about that in future videos about complementation. But that's later on. But anyway, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.